What's up everybody, B. Mason built by B. Mason. Look, as you can see, we are in the fitting bay. I told y'all I was gonna start doing more videos that are review based. So I'm affectionately naming this the component review. As you all know, the golf club is made of a three components. We got the head, we got the shaft, and then we got the grip. In these reviews, I'm gonna review all of those, but I'm only gonna do it one at a time. So today, we will be reviewing the Fuji Cure Pro shaft. This is the graphite shaft. Uh, awesome shaft. That's what we're going to be reviewing. But first, before we do anything, let's light our candle so we can get so we can get a good vibe going. You know, I got to set the mood, make sure I don't hit no bad shots today. So we're going to set the vibe. All right, we got the candle going, got the vibe going. Now we're good to go. <laughs> Roll the intro. Let's go. <laughs> All right, y'all, now that we got the vibe right, let's get right into it. For these, when I test shafts, I'm always gonna use the same two heads, no matter what. So I really like Haywood. If you're not familiar with them, company out of Canada, they make some great, beautiful heads. I really like them. So whenever I do my shaft testing with irons, I'll either use the Haywood, the MB, or the CB. So I think from this point moving forward, It'll be one of these two heads that I'll use when I'm testing these shafts. Uh, I guess the MB versus the CB, depending on how I'm swinging it that day. I don't know. Or it might just always be the MB. But these will be the heads. Let's get right into it. This is the Fuji Cure Pro Shaft. This thing is pretty, pretty freaking amazing. It comes in an IP finish. So this IP finish kind of look like chrome, uh, but it's still graphite, so it's got that kind of very shiny chrome look to it it's got the fuji cure graphics on it it's got pro 95 and then it's got the flex on it uh very very nice looking shaft or you can go with the matte black version that's the matte black version uh the fuji cure logo is very subtle on this one uh it goes from like black to like a matte gray so black to like a matte gray uh this thing comes in a plethora of flexes i mean and models and lengths and weight it start with a 65 uh a 65i and the weight on that is 70 grams so that's the lowest one 65i 70 gram that come in the r2 regular stiff and it goes all the way to a 115 uh tour spec extra stiff and that baby is stiff i actually it's got it on the wall right here I actually let some better players hit it because I don't know why, but better players tend to stray away from graphite. But man, graphite has made some serious strides in the, the years and like graphite solid now. Like it, it, it can be a, a viable option for any of our better players. Every time I let one of my better players hit that graphite shaft, they were like, that was not what I was expecting the shaft to do. So uh, the range is limited. I mean, the range is unlimited. So uh, anybody can get into this particular uh, shaft. Basically, if you're somebody, if you're a better player and you want that lower ball, lower penetrating ball flight, you want to probably go with the tour spec. Uh, you want to go with the tour spec. So the tour spec comes in, let me see. It's a 95i and stiff and extra stiff and a 115 and stiff and extra stiff. and the 115 is roughly 116 and a half grams. And what is the, let's see, what's the X? I forget what the X is. The X is 117 grams. I mean, the 115 X is 117 grams. So it's still light, but you can still keep that ball low and keep it penetrating. Uh, today, I'm just going to hit, maybe I'll hit two. Just, you know what? Let's do this. We're going to hit the tour spec since I have both. We're gonna hit the 95i tour spec, and we're gonna hit the just the regular 95i uh, still. So still here, still here. One of them gonna be tour spec, the other one just gonna be regular. And I think we're gonna use the. I feel good today, even though my ankle a little messed up. I feel alright. So we're gonna swing the MB. Uh, we're gonna get some numbers. 
the feel on these, man, it's got a solid feel. I can't lie. Like I'm not, I'm not I tell everybody I always encourage people to try to try these shafts out. I'm like, it feels very solid. Uh if I was gonna actually put them in my set, I would do the 115 uh tour spec X, but for the sake of comparing apples to apples, I'm gonna do the tour spec versus the other one in the stiff version. We're gonna be on the uh, GC quad, we're gonna get some numbers up. I'm gonna put, how do I feel like swinging today? I'm probably gonna do like six a piece. Uh, if it's a terribly bad shot, I'm throwing it out. But I'm gonna do like six shots a piece. We'll come back over here, we'll compare the two, and we'll talk about them. Uh, I'll talk a little while I'm hitting them as well. But that's enough, let's get into it. Let's go over here and uh, get on the quad. All right, y'all, we're gonna hit a couple of shots. I'm starting out with the 95 I stiff. Uh, this is not the tour spec, this is just the 95 I stiff. Uh, I'm using the MB Haywood, Haywood MB and try to get some good shots off. The bad ones will not make it in. There will be some bad ones. That's all right. I didn't flush that, but probably make it into the set. No, it won't. Maybe it will. <laughs> That's flush. I like that. Woo! Woo! Starting to feel good now. All right. Nice. Starting to get that blood, starting to get that blood going now, y'all. It's always good when you can just kind of feel what a shaft going to do. That felt good. Woo. I take my jacket off. One more. That's nice. That's a good one to end on right there. Should be 6,800. What it felt like. 6,839. Man, I can feel it. All right, y'all. This was the Fuji Cure Pro 95. Now I'm gonna go get into the tour spec. Feeling a little windy. Feeling warmed up. And let you know I gotta stop eating the donuts. I gotta start exercising again. Shouldn't be winded. We're going to tour spec. Now, what's the difference in the tour spec? Glad you asked. It's gonna be stiffer. <laughs> so if all you all are looking for a little, what I find is that a lot of my I go off, I go off a lot of feel and what players give me as far as feedback. So a lot of feedback I get from this shell is that it feels a little stiffer at the bottom in the tip section. All right. Let's go in here, we're gonna hit some. Maybe I should've hit the cavity back today instead of this MB. 64, it's kind of what I expected out of it. If the other one was going 68, but I did feel a little thing in though. There we go. Woo! That felt good. A little, a little left of the green. Nice. Get on flat. Sixty-five. So this starting to look more like what I thought it would look. Spin coming down some. Cause this is stiffer. Yeah. That's how you do it. Woo! Like that. Had to concentrate a little bit. Oh. Man, that felt so good. Hold on, I'm gonna hit one more. Yeah. 
All right, I quit because I'm starting to get warm up. I'm starting to swing faster. I want to keep all things equal. All right, last one for real. That's a good way to end. Nice. All right, y'all. We're going to get over here. Let that hit. We're going to get over here, get some numbers, see where we at. 64. I'm telling you, that's it. This one's spinning 64. That other one's spinning 68. Guarantee you. That's the difference between the shell. But let's go look. All right, y'all, we back. Got me a little water, because that ended up being a little bit more work than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to have to put out me a, uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to put out me a call to get somebody to come in and hit shots when we do this. I just need you to be consistent and be able to hit the ball sparingly decent. But for now, it's just going to be me until I figure out who that person going to be. Let me get a sip of water. Okay, let's do this. So at the top, we got the 95 IS. At the bottom, we got the 95 I Tour Spec S. These numbers fell in line with where I felt like they would fall in line at. So the ball speed was a little bit lower on the regular version of the 95 I. Uh, the launch was higher and there was more backspin because I'm thinking because that shaft is not as stiff as the Tour Spec. So for me, what that resulted in was a 144 carry and a 151 total. Keep in mind, I try to keep my club head speed the same throughout. So I was cruising around 81 miles an hour to 84 miles an hour. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that one. You look at the bottom, uh, the ball speed was 108. So substantially uh, faster. The lunch was lower, which I like more. And the spin, was a lot lower as well. 65, averaged out to 65.60. Uh, the carry was 150 and the total was 156. Like I said, keep in mind, I was cruising around the same club head speed on all these. So for me and the way that I swing the club, that's, or the way that I swung it during this test, that's the tail of the tape. Uh, truly, what you have to do is you have to come in and swing them or go to your local fitter and hit some different shaft. They all gonna react differently. What I do know is Fujikura made a great product with both these shafts. And ultimately, I can find a shaft that can fit any player in the Pro Iron Series. So what's the benefit to graphite? Well, we all know it's a lot easier on your joints. You know, you don't have that vibration of that steel running up through your body. Some people like to feel that contact, you know what I'm saying? You gotta hit these new graphites, that's all to it. You gotta hit the new graphites. They didn't change up a lot. These things are very, uh, very improved from what graphite used to be. Uh, outside of that, those are numbers. I hope you like, uh, like these reviews. I plan on doing more of them. Uh, I'm gonna be doing drivers, I'm gonna be doing heads, the whole nine. Like I said, for my iron, uh, for my iron shaft reviews, I'm going to use the Hay Haywood uh, CB and the MB uh, just because I love the way they look, the love the way they feel, and uh, yeah, go from there. Uh, if you like this video and you want me to make more videos like this, please consider hitting the like bell, I mean hitting the like button. Also hit the bell if you want to be notified when I put out new videos just like this, you'll be notified, so hit that bell. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I got all type of stuff on this on this channel, I got a podcast called Make a Pivot Podcast where I talk to cool people and who do cool stuff in golf. I also uh, do club making videos and now we're adding reviews. So now I'll be doing reviews as well here at my golf studio in uh, Birmingham. Well, I'm in Homewood, which is right outside of Birmingham, Alabama. So if you need a fitter, you, uh, I do putter fittings here. I use a Quintic. Uh, so if you need a fitting, anything like that, if you're anywhere near my area, you wanna come try out some shafts, you wanna come, uh, you want to come look at new irons, you want to come do a session, you need some clubs built, consider looking me up, 3BM Golf Studio. You can Google me. Like I said, I'm in Birmingham, but I'm in Homewood, which is basically three minutes right outside of downtown Birmingham, Alabama. That's all I got for y'all. Uh, man, it's been a long journey. I remember when I first moved into this place last year, a year ago, I was in California doing a uh, building clubs out the back of my house and fitting, doing fittings and helping people out the back of my house. Now I got a, now I got a studio. Uh, don't ever let nobody tell you what can't be done because your plan is not your plan. The plan is ultimately up to God. 
uh, keep being a good person. He will bless you. Uh, he has blessed me tremendously. That's all I got for y'all, man. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Built by B. Mason. Peace. When I don't need no college, cause I'm getting stupid amounts. Yeah, I'm getting stupid amounts. Ayy, so much that I'm losing accounts. Ayy, I'm a young boss in my state. Yeah, so I gotta stay in my town. Ayy, I think I'm staying around. Ayy, what is they talking about? Ayy.